So last week, we learned about reports of a potential deal between President Joe Biden and Mitch McConnell, whereby uh, Joe Biden would nominate an anti-abortion judge to a federal lifetime appointment in exchange for Mitch McConnell simply agreeing to um, not slow down some of his other federal judicial appointments. Pretty bad deal. Now, this was just a report. Nothing was set in stone, but there was some pushback from Democratic Party loyalists who refused to believe that Biden would be capable of this because there wasn't even a vacancy. Now, the vacancy was announced a day after this story had broke, but we've heard nothing since this story has been published, except today HuffPost released a story where uh, we learned that the Biden administration, even though there's been a lot of pushback, is still considering nominating said anti-abortion judge. Jennifer Bendery explains, President Joe Biden is not backing off plans to nominate an anti-abortion attorney to a lifetime federal judgeship in Kentucky despite strong opposition from Democrats and reproductive rights groups, according to a source recently briefed on the White House's plans. White House officials have refused to talk about Chad Meredith ever since the Louisville Courier-Journal reported late last month that he is the president's pick for a soon-to-be-vacant U.S. District Court seat in eastern Kentucky. The newspaper even provided copies of June 23rd emails from the White House to Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir confirming Biden's plans to nominate Meredith, a member of the conservative Federalist Society who has fought abortion rights. The White House initially told Bashir that Meredith would be nominated the next day on June 24th, but that turned out to be the day the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade and the nomination didn't happen. Now it's just crickets. Well, at least he was kind enough to wait to nominate Chad Meredith because, I mean, doing it on the day that Roe v. Wade was overturned would be a little bit too tacky. So, you know, he's he's giving us a little bit of time. I just I don't even know how to respond to this story. Let me just let you all know that this is not happening in a vacuum. We have to further contextualize this environment in the White House in order to really grasp how absurd this is. This comes at a time, this potential nomination comes at a time when 71% of Americans do not want Biden to seek a second term, including a majority of Democrats. His approval rating has dipped again, and his own base is harshly criticizing him because his response following the reversal of Roe v. Wade has been terrible. In fact, it seems as if he was unprepared, even if we had the leaked draft telling us that the Supreme Court was going to do the unthinkable, really the unthinkable to people who didn't know any better. But this was pretty obvious because they were broadcasting this for a very long time. But either way, after Biden has been met with resistance from his own party because he has been very feckless following the reversal of Roe v. Wade, he's still choosing to spit in the eyes of activists and nominating this force birther anyway. Now, look, this is not a foregone conclusion. He still can reverse this and not go forward with this. But just the uh, fact that he's still moving forward with this, even following backlash, it just shows that he doesn't care. He's not just complicit with the forced birthers. He's assisting them in their effort to strip all women in the United States of reproductive rights. More from HuffPost. Biden is facing fire from his own party and allies. Bashir called such a nomination indefensible, and Representative John Yarmuth said, the last thing we need is another extremist on the bench. Eight national abortion rights groups issued a rare joint statement calling Meredith unacceptable at any time, but especially on the heels of six Supreme Court justices taking away a fundamental right from millions of people. Late Monday, Senator Tim Kaine similarly raised concerns about the prospect of Biden appointing Meredith to a lifetime federal court seat. Quote, I do not think this is the kind of person that a Democratic majority should put on the bench, Kane told HuffPost. It might have seemed like the White House has been backing off of Meredith's potential nomination, given its silence in response to the Democratic outcry. But behind the scenes, the White House is apparently signaling that it still plans to move forward with his nomination. This is absurd. They're defending it, the source briefed last week on the White House's plan, told HuffPost, after requesting anonymity in order to speak freely about private conversations. So I've got to say, if Tim Kaine, historically an anti-abortion conservative Democrat, thinks that Biden is going too far in assisting forced birthers, that goes to show you how out of step he is with the party. And this individual said that activists, pro-choice activists, were the ones who were out of step with the Democratic Party. No, Biden, you're the one who's out of step with the Democratic Party. Because as much as the Democratic Party 
is fighting each other. You have centrists fighting with the left. We're all in lockstep on this particular issue. When you have your entire base unified on this one issue and you still can't pull it together to galvanize them with a strong, decisive response, you failed as a president. And yet this man wants to run for a second term. Absolutely ridiculous. Now, how is he choosing to make this announcement knowing that it's super controversial? Well, what he's planning on doing is introducing Meredith along with other judges, just do a bulk package deal with some justices that the left would approve of. So that way you kind of sneak them through. I just, I just, I can't get over it. It's, it's not like incompetence isn't the right word for this. It's not even him hating his own base. There really needs to be a new word to describe the way that Biden is governing. I mean, there's a ton of adjectives that you can use, but really I feel like this is almost unprecedented where a president is spitting in the eyes of his own base at a time when his approval rating is in the tank, when a majority of his base doesn't want him to seek re-election, you'd think that he'd be kissing their asses. Any president who wants to be re-elected would do that, but Biden is doing the opposite of what is logical. I mean, it flies in the face of common sense. Any political actor with an interest in a higher approval rating and re-election would be doing the opposite of what he's doing, but he's assisting forced birthers. I just... I don't know how to how to even characterize this moment. It's it's too absurd to describe what's happening in the moment. We have to like digest it for a couple of decades and then look back and then try to figure out what the fuck was going on in America. But maybe, you know, the vice president is going to have a little bit more clarity on this issue. I think that to be very honest with you, I I do believe that we should have rightly believed, but we certainly believe that certain issues are just settled. Certain issues are just settled. Clearly we're not. No, that's right. And that's why I do believe that we are living, sadly, in um, real unsettled times. <laughs> uh, uh, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. These are our fighters, folks. These are our fighters. Kamala Harris and Joseph Robinette Biden. We are truly genuinely doomed as a country do you enjoy watching independent news shows like the humanist report the rational national and the majority report but oftentimes youtube doesn't deliver our videos to your subscription box well i've got a solution for you it's called the opt-out app available right now in the ios app store coming soon to android opt-out is an app made by and for progressives where they take all of the most popular independent news shows and they put them in one convenient location you'll find all your favorites on there like the humanist report the rational national the majority report and the app is updated multiple times per day so your news feed is constantly Constantly up to date. If you enjoy watching independent media, this is the app to get. Download it today. You know. You 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 know. You know the you know the thing. You're getting nervous, man. man.